plate. Hey, everybody. Yo. Welcome. What's up, homies? Yeah. We're back. More of the cool. I actually. I... Yep. I need to talk to you about the way you introduce the stream because my girlfriend watches this and she gets a small heart attack whenever you scream, hey. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, like, loads of YouTubers have, have like, a distinctive way that they, they greet, you know? Like, everyone recognizes Markiplier as, like, hello, everybody, and other people yeah, have... Yeah, that's because Markiplier's voice is made out of butter. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, our voices are made out of nasal. <laughs> yeah, especially mine. Uh, the, the change of seasons has been awful on my sinuses. Mm -hmm. My sinuses actively try and kill me. Yeah, well, that's... Uh, that's <coughs> Caleb, we Amelia. are making progress on the game. Not in life, though. Not, well, I, I've been making some progress in life, but... I've been treading water for years. Uh, I've learned a lot of how to do paperwork. Let me say that. But growing, grow, being an adult, growing up has uh, meant doing a lot of paperwork, and I'm getting better at it. Anyway, I, I hope to always live with people who know how to do that stuff, so that I never have to. You can bring the charming witticisms and the very dry, like. Uh, I just want to be the the Victorian man who lives in your roof and makes uh, martinis all day, and that's it. That's what I aspire to from my life. Do you have a good martini recipe? I it it's a lot. It's a lot of gin <laughs> <laughs> and and olives, and that's basically how you make a martini. And there's some vermouth in there. Oh yeah. And I, then I hand it to you on a napkin that has one of my poems written on it, and you have to pretend to like it. And that's how I guilt you into letting me live with you. Ah yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah I, I have it's a recipe just... for a, a chocolate martini. You know, non-alcoholic. That one's always wait. A powder what? Piece of... Yeah, a chocolate martini. Uh, how do you make it? It gets served in a. Oh, Mana Burnt is here. Hello. They say goals. Mana Burnt. Yeah, chocolate chocolate martini is basically well, it's a couple of things, but the base of it is a very rich chocolate ganache uh, that you make. What's a ganache? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's a noise that you make if you chew too loudly. <laughs> but um, Tish. Nice. I think it's also a god in Hindu religion. Okay, that's a little bit insensitive, but we're gonna let that one slide. Wait, uh, really? It, no, 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 I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, so again, I was about to say, Emilio, you can't throw the word insensitive around. It uh, again, actually, is like depending on who you ask, it's like a glaze or an icing or a sauce. The basic, it, it, the basic point is that it's equal parts cream and chocolate. And uh, once you get a nice ganache, that's the basis of the martini. Uh, then you'll need a couple of things. You'll need some espresso. Um, I, I, I would, this is not a... <laughs> and you, know, yeah. you, you need some cream and some chocolate <laughs> for finishing it on the top. And if you really, really want like a maraschino cherry, those really, really go nicely in them. Um, if you really wanted to jove it up, you could also add things like uh, Mr. Black. That's a coffee liqueur. Uh, and... I would love to taste one of your chocolate martinis one day. This or, sounds delicious. Or, you know, you could add, like, some, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Amarula. Like, a, Ooh, very, yeah. a heavy, like, cream-based alcoholic liqueur would go really yeah. if you wanted to add, like, some addition. You, if you wanted to, like, dirty up the chocolate martini. And you if have you to... want a <laughs> dirty chocolate martini. <laughs> and you have to you know, they, that's not, it, it's not called a dirty martini because there's alcohol in it. Uh, it's I... you make it you make it dirty. Like the reason it's called a dirty martini is because you pour some of the um the preserve that they keep the olives in into the the drink. Yeah, the olive juice. Uh, yeah, it tastes great. I don't drink, so I w I wouldn't know. Uh, I just have loads of like I have a book that I got about like nineteenth century soda fountain drinks and all of the other, like, how to make a phosphate and all that <laughs> other crazy stuff, you know? Like, from a pharmacy. <laughs> and I, I just know how to make all these drinks, because I don't... Yeah. I don't drink alcohol, but I do think it's important that if your guests drink alcohol, <laughs> you serve them stuff that they will like. So... I, I've gotten pretty good at making, like, white Russians, mm -hmm. and uh, I, can make a, I, I can make a margarita, mm -hmm. 
mm. and the tequila sunrise. Oh. I did want to learn how to make like an old fashioned. Oh yeah, and those yeah. like cool whiskey drinks. Yeah, I can I can make an old fashioned. Uh, it's a quite a it's, it's, it's this reason it's the old fashioned for a reason. It's like the, the staple. Pretty much most people, I think, if, if they drink alcohol, they're like an old fashioned. But this is not an alcohol st- cocktail stream. Although, let us know, you guys, if you would like. Yeah, a, like a, a if you want stream. us to do a, 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 a mixology stream, we'll just dedicate a day to that. Oh, Matt, Matt Brown says Callum losing points quick and the stream is, hasn't even started. And they say etiquette wordy cloth. Yeah, you know, uh, between Callum and I, I feel like we can, we can do, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, an, we can do a an pretty, etiquette cloth. We could do a, a pretty decent like how to host people, you know. I know how. To I've host never people. hosted anyone in my life, but I can teach you how to uh, which cutlery to choose. Yeah, yeah, I, I can as well. Um, and also, you, you know, just I, go from the outside in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, plus, you know, there's all types of. You can make like canapes, and if you're having chocolate martini, you know what's really really nice? A tiny little chocolate eclair that you can dip into the chocolate Ooh. martini. It's. Oh. You- my dad makes it. I don't. You're a, a vegetarian, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're not a pescatarian. Like you can't eat fish. I. You know, the funny thing is, I don't like eating fish, even when I was a, a meat eater. So uh, ah. I. I just I hate fish. <laughs> Fair enough, but we can probably find a substitute. But my dad makes this an ex, uh, excellent snack where it's uh, mascarpone cheese mm-hmm. with like a bit of lemon zest on top, with salmon wrapped around it on a oh. biscuit. That sounds nice. Yeah, you make a few of those. Uh, you uh, sometimes switch out the lemon zest for like um, capers. Mm-hmm. Capers, yeah. it's excellent. Yeah, capers are like a small berry, if you don't know. Yeah, yeah caper, capers are good. They're they're a really really nice way to add um, some uh, sort of like salty, almost slightly bitterness. Crunch. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, it, I think it, we <laughs> before I get too we, hungry. We should... Talk about we should, talk, we about should talk about this game that we're playing. So, quick recap for where we are in the Kuna. Our daughter was kidnapped. It's very sad. Uh, we didn't throw Gary under the bus because we allowed yeah. ourselves to be the back door. And as a the result, the chief got fired. The chief, well, yeah, he resigned. He retired. Well, uh, he quote unquote resigned, yeah. but it's very heavily implied that the the DA or whatever the uh, told him to. Yeah. Uh, the attorney general basically forced him to retire. As a result, Gary is the head of the department now, which is mm. he he was the, he's the most conventional white man they've got. <laughs> yeah, the department that has like one black dude, a woman, and uh, three guys who kind of look interchangeable, if I'm honest. Well, the detectives are. I, I, pretty small in it, but there's more diversity in the actual office itself. Uh, yeah, no, but, no, no. Um, we're not talking about the actual office. We're yeah. talking about the detect. Who cares about the actual office? They're nothing. They're NPCs. <laughs> yeah, we're the actual people. So anyway, uh, we are basically trying to pursue leads while also not getting our daughter killed. So we'll see if we actually manage to succeed on that one. Hell yeah. Um, and and hopefully we can find a a, a nice comfy place to grow old with our lizard i uh, went back on the train oh uh, uh, fuck i have to do australian immediately <laughs> i felt like shit for letting zora and her accomplices intercept the attack there were so many ways this could go wrong i didn't want them to take more or worse yet somehow miss him and let the attack happen don't get me wrong i didn't regret telling zora what i knew to protect laura she gave me a beer after all but engage- endangering the lives of innocent people wasn't an acceptable trade-off. I couldn't tell the CDR, or even call in an anonymous tip with the police, because there was the chance that was too high that Zora would suspect me. There was no other way. If I wanted to make sure things didn't go south, they had to go north. I had to go to the <laughs> church myself. I left in the middle of the night, hoping it wouldn't already be too late. This is like the cyberpunk edge runners train where it's the rail is on top for some reason. Uh, but that yeah. is that's kind of like future shorthand for like ooh we're in the future our train rails are on the roof. Well, t- monorails are actually a very old type of thing. If you have ever seen like vintage Gotham depictions, Gotham actually has a monorail where they have the rail on top. Uh, you mean Gotham, the fictional uh, Batman city? Yeah, the f- fictional Batman city. 
the real as opposed future. to Gotham, <laughs> the the non-fictional New York place. Yeah, <laughs> just any any uh, American city on the East Coast. Uh, the real futuristic type of train would actually be like a maglev, right? Where it uses magnetic levitation to levitate the train up. Um, oh, but that's silly nonsense. I mean, I, we have to deal the, with pocket laser. Japan and his friends. has maglevs. They actually built a high-speed mag. It goes like four hundred. Or something, 500 kilometers an hour. But doesn't Japan also have like a negative interest rate in all of its banks? Uh, they're doing a lot of quantitative easing. Uh, you know, you really get all things on this podcast. You get like discussions of cooking how to make, tips. Yeah, how to make different types of <laughs> beverages. And now we're talking about like. Oh the my Japanese. gosh, and we're at the liquor booth already. <laughs> uh, um. I, I do say want to say if we do end up doing like a cooking stream or whatever at some point, I can teach you all how to make salsa. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I make uh, a, an awesome salsa. I can and make it's purely vegetarian. I can make some really good uh, pico de gallo, uh, which is what's that? Pico de gallo. I've is, heard the name before. Yeah, it, it's like it, it salsa as a sauce. Pico de gallo is like an accompaniment of. Uh, it's kind of like a a fresh almost type salad type accompaniment of uh various types of like onions and some tomatoes and you know stuff that you put on to add freshness to the taco oh cool 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 cool. then we can make a meal together hell yeah yeah good evening good evening sir is this place open evening i'm sorry but the temple is closed until six in the morning could you oh gosh okay could you let me in for just a second it would be very important to me i won't (laughs) touch anything i promise sorry but what is this about we had to increase security ever since that video came out these are scary times for us savians uh someone prayed screw savians on one of the temple walls last night oh Uh, uh we could lie we do know a little bit about the religion I feel like Running yeah. Let's t- lie. <laughs> Listen, I lost something during the evening ritual. I needed it back for my morning practice. It's my mama's ragu. <laughs> can I go in and get it real quick? It'll get cold, and I don't know if you eat, can eat it like that. Bawas. Uh, yeah, my bawas. My strong bawas from the. <laughs> Song of Ice and Fire books. Every, everyone knows that in order to be a true Saviant, you have to watch all of Game of Thrones until season four, and then read... Oh, actually, no, Winds of Winter is still not out. Yeah. It's like a... Everyone knows to be a true Saviant, you have to read about the, the fighting pit man, this strong Belwas, who eats lots of horse livers. And then he poops on... Yeah, he just takes a, a dump outside the one city. Anyway, uh, my Belwas. I see. I forget mine all the time. Happens easily, because they're not part of the final meditation. Do you know where you left them? Yes, I think so. It's probably in the place where you have a killer. Fine, go grab them. Please make it quick, and don't tell anybody. I promise. Thank you, sir. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a good feeling about this. Oh, guns out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Not> guns even... <laughs> out. <laughs> not even two steps into the building, and the gun is already out. Sun's up, guns down. All right. Uh, that looks like quickly. The... We have to go find our babas. Uh oh, found it. Time to leave. <laughs> Yay. Uh, okay. Where is? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. We just went out of the temple. I don't know why we could go... do that. Go up those stairs. Oh, maybe we could have snuck in through the back. Oh. <laughs> We're stupid. Uh, oh, well, we already lied to a, a middle class person. Let's just let's just continue down this path. I got a bad feeling about this. You always say that, and it's always fine. I don't know. We'll just shoot them. We'll Conrad, pretend they're a Conrad's drone. Conrad's doing the slow walk with his gun out. Yeah. Oh, he's taking cover. Ah, oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mr. Moore, this is the CDI Phillips. Hands in the air right now and shake him like you just don't care. He's playing Nintendo. Step away from the device. <laughs> That's a, it's not a bomb. It's a Nintendo. <laughs> it's, it's a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> 
fuck. Uh, oh, I, I didn't realize there was context. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> They're here. I knew this already. I knew they were coming here. <laughs> Listen carefully. They'll shoot you if you don't cooperate, okay? What the heck are you talking about? What's going on here? Mr. Moore, I'm CDI. You have to trust me. Tell them whatever they... I didn't do anything, okay? I'm just following orders from my boss. Tell them that. Tell who? The people walking up the stairs right now. I don't know why I'm being coy. Tell them the truth if you want to live. How did, how did they get... Oh, I guess the security guards are like, Oh, did you forget your Valus too? Well, go ahead. <laughs> uh, we just saw the other guy. <laughs> and if we're lucky, they won't take you away. Deal! What the hell are you doing here? Don't shoot! Stand down, all of you! Who the heck is that, Sora? That guy has Leon S. Kennedy hair. <laughs> yes, he does! Why is the entire cast of Resident Evil here? That one person just stood behind a pillar. Yeah. Because they know they're not important yeah. in the scene. He has no speaking lines. <laughs> That's our mole. Ignore him. Go get the other guy. Make sure we don't blow up. Mr. Moore, you're coming with us. Eel, what is this about? Hope this isn't some kind of trap, because if it is, Laura's dead. What? Who are you? Leave me alone. <laughs> it's not a trap. I'm here alone. Where are you taking him? That's none of your business. We had a deal. Uh, uh Moore's just a pawn in this. Listen, I think that Moore's just a pawn in this. There are bigger fish in the background. You might say that there are lobsters, <laughs> or larger prawns, perhaps even shrimps. Maybe a langoustine. Uh, whatever that is, <laughs> they're the ones we should have a closer look at. Okay, have a closer look at them then. Uh, okay. I didn't expect you to go with that. Cool. So you're leaving more alone? No. No, no, please. I didn't do anything. Let me take him in. He deserves a fair trial. What are you talking about? Sora, we need to run. The, the, Mr. The, tea, the tyrant is going to get what? us. <laughs> you are pitching this to the wrong audience, my man. I have played maybe five minutes of Resident Evil 4. You see, guys, audience, Callum and I are strange because there are, like, things that we, like, really know. For, exa for example, we really got into, like, like uh, mixology earlier. But I've played a lot of Resident Evil games, and Cal has played like five minutes of them. <laughs> yes, but I have I have done so much salsa making. Uh, real quick, while we're stuck in this ethical conundrum, Mana Burns had to dash, mm -hmm. but uh, they're totally going to watch it later, and they think that we should absolutely do a food stream. And speaking of, Frog says, stream! Woo! Stream! <laughs> stream! Okay. okay. Zora, <clears throat> we need to run. Zora, we need to run. Sorry, Neil, but we have to make sure you won't follow us. Shoots you in what the kneecap. You... <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Ah, uh, God. What? They really did. Oh, no, they beat us up. Did we... we? Oh, they just cut to black. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well. That's not as fun. When I came to, my head and shoulder hurt. Head and shoulders for dandruff relief. And I was cold. I remember feeling re relief from my dandruff, and I realized that I was still in the church and not tied up in the back of a van. Everyone was gone without a trice, except for the bomb. I approached it carefully, but quickly realized it was disabled or had never been fully assembled in the first place. Batteries were missing. I knelt down to examine the explosives, looking for clues pointing me to their origin. If Young had been there, she could have run a full analysis. Lucky for me, the explosives were clearly identifiable from their shape and labeling alone. <laughs> Acme bombs. Made in China. <laughs> there were Sinian sticks, used in chamber blasting. Nobody had access to those outside of the mining industry. I stepped back, satisfied for a moment. Man, I think slowly. Then the rest of reality came crashing down on me. What would Zora's boss do when he heard I was here? What were they planning to do with more? And, fuck, what about the god? Ah. Uh, oh, that seems to be the end of my thought process. 
Oh yeah. You it... rise me up. I wonder, they... <laughs> I wonder if they kill that guy. Oh god. <sighs> Why is that one piece of floor blinking? I think that's like uh, light. Oh, that's your foot. Oh, that's the that's shoe. That's the light going off your shoe. Investigate the bomb. Alright, let's take a look. thought we did that already. <laughs> Was it a sound? I hadn't heard him resist the intruder, so that was a good sign. My heart started racing when I went, when I quickly went back, quietly went back downstairs. Oh yeah, right. This is called railroading, children. Well, it's not like we're just gonna dip out the back, you know. Yeah, I mean, we literally have no other point of egress, like. Maybe they could have just should. let us figure this one out on our own. Maybe we should. Oh, shoot. Oh, there he is. Hey, what's up? Sir, are you okay? What is going on here? I waited to check what took you so long, then I saw a bunch of people with guns walk in. I hid between the benches and they either they didn't see me or they didn't care about me. Jeez, you're the employer of the year, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I saw them. I hid in the attic. You're a terrible security guard. What did they do up there? They took a look around <laughs> and left again. Not suspicious at all. Hmm. Maybe they were looters, hoping to find something valuable, like my Bawas, which I still have not found. But there's nothing valuable here. Don't they know that Sapiens don't care about worldly possessions? Except for their the Bawas's. Good call of the police. I can't stick around or my wife will start to worry about me. Wait, the police will want to take your testimony. That's not really what police do, but okay. Sorry if I don't really want to be implicated in that kind of stuff. <laughs> Please don't, sorry, I was drinking water. Please don't mention that I was here at all. It's just a matter of wrong time, wrong place. Throw a smoke bomb and like run out the back. <laughs> but Smoke bomb! Good night, sir. I said good. <laughs> All right. I said good. Day. Yeah, and then it ran out the back door. <laughs> just, just run out and stop at the wall, damn it! <laughs> you know what would have been funnier if Conrad, Conrad just like started running off the wall. <laughs> yeah, just just Spider Man's his way out of there. Yeah, Flip. you know he's got like Flip. cybernetic implants, so. Uh, maybe uh yeah. Uh, okay, right. so what do we do now? We potentially screwed up. Yeah, We've we... maybe gotten our daughter killed. We just like go home. Yeah, I guess. I guess we go home. Chill out for a bit. What does the? Yeah, we gotta get. Fox to the say. Game. I'm old. Yeah. What does the fox say? <laughs> well, the fox makes a chirping noise. Yeah, they make really weird noises. Like they from... they do kind of make like baby bird noises. Yeah, yeah. Foxes. It's not a sound that I would associate, because when I think of, like, a fox, I think of, like, a dog-adjacent animal, but, like, a fox is not a dog-adjacent animal at all. No, they're more like a wolf-adjacent animal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're also kind of, like, a slightly cat-adjacent in some respects as well, but... Yeah, they're like a mixture between wolf, cat, and weasel. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the way I would describe it, to be honest. Um... Remember, if you join the Bite Mark streams, you not only get cooking tips, voice acting, and also detective work, you get some, occasionally animal stuff. <laughs> Hi, Lucas. Welcome to the stream. You joined in a really weird part. Yeah, you missed the, uh, you missed the sweet discussions about how to make uh, different uh, cocktails, but um, yeah, you, you, yeah, you're and in what, at the, what at the determines fuck? a clean or dirty martini? It's the olive brine. Basically. No, don't tell him. Now he won't watch the VOD. Watch the VOD, Lucas. <laughs> watch the VOD, Lucas, and find out about martinis there. <laughs> also, watch what we're doing now. <laughs> uh, okay, so... If, if you can tell it's been a long day for me and I'm very tired, then, yep. Yeah, I've, I've just been in, like, kind of a weird mood today. But to, to, to be fair, when am I not, like, really tired on these streams? I feel like one day I'm going to be, like, super bright and chipper, and Callum's going to be like, who are you and what have you done with Emilio? I've, I've never... Well, I've heard you excited before, but it was mostly sword-related. Ooh, let's go talk to our ex-wife. Yeah. 
I th I saw a cat and I thought I was like, we don't know any cat. Yeah, we have a lizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, let's go and talk to our ex-wife, Catherine. Oh, she's giving us the cold shoulder. You? Anything new? Well, our daughter got kidnapped, but I feel like you know that already. Yeah, I kind of no. messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm so scared. What if those people are lying to you? What if, what if they never planned on letting her go? Well, they probably won't now. I did just kind of fuck up their bombing thing. I mean, I've talked to them. <laughs> they sure they're only gonna after the data. They'll keep their word, okay? I try. I had a beer with one of them. We have an unspoken bond now. Yeah. Tell you what, if we don't have her back by tomorrow, I'll come clean and ask the CDI for help. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That that sounds good. Hey, Neil. I'm glad I'm not alone in this. I mean, okay, <laughs> uh, same, I guess. It's kind of, I'm sorry, I'm just still kind of caught up on how during this hostage situation I started a sentence with tell you what. I kind of <laughs> missed talking to you these last few years. I'm so sorry I didn't spend more time with you and Laura. I just couldn't. You're both so boring. It hurts. <laughs> I know how selfish that sound, and it is. It sucks. But you know, no, whatever. I I understand. I can relate. Wait, was... does she have a little terrarium in the background for horrors when he used to live here? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's got like a vacation. He has like his vacation terrarium, and he's like, you know, normal terrarium. Oh my god, does Horace have fucking like? Do they share custody of, <laughs> of Horace, but not their daughter? Maybe. <laughs> I don't care about Larry or whatever her name is, but I'm taking the lizard. I always asked you to take care of Laura more, but... Sometimes I, I felt like doing it myself was easier than seeing you again and again. Oh, we, we I'm gotta, going to hug her We have to go in yeah. for the hug, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. won't like this. I Cyber don't hug hard. people a lot. You, you I don't mean. like... <laughs> Just... I'll go home and catch some sleep. See you tomorrow. I stole your wallet. Bye. Okay, see you. What? <laughs> Bye! Then you're out the door. Hey. <laughs> I was never here. Smoke bomb. More, more things should be happen where you could just like throw a smoke bomb, you know? Yeah, or hug people at, yeah. at random into. There should be dedicated hug buttons in most mm -hmm. games. Oh, shit. Lauren Nguyen. Nguyen. Uh, Nguyen, yeah. Nguyen? Nguyen. Nguyen. Nguyen, yeah. Oh, yeah, so they want self governance. The president is doing his stuff. They came out of nowhere, says Professor Melissa Waylord. Ah, yeah. Ex they Expert they on political extremism at Molina University. They did they not... Didn't... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> they did not emerge from an existing known movement, which is very rare and frankly strange. That further lends credence, I think, to the idea that the Liberators are um, not a real organization. They're a synthetic yeah. one. Oh, that's the phone. Oh. Hey, Saito. What is it? Hey, Neil. I have good news. Our IT department finally managed to retrieve some of the data Cox was trying to destroy. Most we have an it, IT department? It's it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Most of it are bulls and contracts that aren't important for our case. Still pretty illegal, though. But they also okay. found a message that caught my eye. Like, the one to Gonzalez. It was sent via the Mercurius thing. Pretty sure it comes from whoever is behind the Liberators. I'll forward it to yourself. Good work, Saito! Exclamation point. I'll have a look at it tomorrow morning. Need to catch up on some sleep first. Sounds like they're finally making headway in our investigation. We're fi- not there, we're. I mean, I'm a part of this. I'm not suspicious. Bye, Saito! Hey! Veggie Buffet restaurant. Gross. Nice. The vegans, they persist. Dumpling kitchen? Oh yeah, we live in a gentrified part of the uh, part oh, of the damn. city. 
<laughs> no! But they got a dumpling kitchen! They've got a dumpling kitchen, but the rent is so high. Yeah, that's why we should, we should be, you know, guys, realistically speaking, you know, a lot of marriages stay together because the two people can't afford to... <laughs> Uh, yeah, they can't afford to pay for living on their own. And isn't that a sad state of affairs? Yep. Fucking this elevator. You may be asking yourself how I remain functional throughout all this. Methamphetamine, actually. <laughs> how I didn't just collapse under the pressure and looming prospect of losing my daughter forever. I think the truth is that over the years, I'd gotten really, really good at tuning out that voice always tormenting me. That one that had the, the horrible Australian accent. They always told me horrible shit. This was just adding to it. More to repress. More bubbling beneath the surface. Maybe it had been gone for long enough. I'd misplaced it sooner or later. I say in my own internal monologue. Ah. Uh, God damn it. God. F uh. Zora, was... this is like the third time you've ambushed me this evening. I was gonna go pet Horus. Now we won't get a chance to do it. God. Zora, you being here means I cannot interact with my lizard. Please. There you also, are. Also, my coffee maker's going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Zora, what time is this? What is this time? What is it this time? Sorry, I'm really tired. I'm here to tell you that my boss is happy with how things went. Apart from you uh, showing up unannounced. Don't, don't pull something like that again, okay? I don't know what to say to you, Laura. I'm uh, kind of a mensch. <laughs> what did you do to more? That's none of your business. I also don't have a car, so you could call me an Ubermensch. <laughs> Tell me, I gave him to you. I, I handed them to you on a silver platter. We just talked to him, but it looks like he doesn't know much. He says his boss ordered him to do it. He... Ah, spelling error. What? It ordered him to do it, he. And he doesn't know who's behind all of it. That's oh. That's superfluous he. That's, that's a grammar error, you... you oh, yeah. Uh, Nancy. Grammar error. I don't we'll know if to, that's an insult. We'll have to rely on that back door to the CDI network after all. Taking the data back seems like the best way to get our money right now. But we need your help to go through with it. Here's how this will go. At 7 wait, wait, tonight, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Did you know that Moore was like a, a cyber warrior? <laughs> I feel like he could have done more to resist arrest or whatever you guys did to Yeah, him. yeah, he has like resistance to mind altering drugs and also like advanced reflexes. He's like a Swiss army knife was a person. Hmm. Anyway, you were saying about like whatever. Yeah, at seven o'clock tonight, our hackers will commence the attack. But it'll only work if we have someone who is physically at a CDI computer at that time. That's bad hacking. Yeah. That's terrible hacking. Yeah, that, that feels a little bit uh, contrived. Mm? A new user named 4x458 will pop up and request admin... 4x458, yeah, that's how I measure my planks. That you'll have to grant. <laughs> I love the honesty. Zora. <laughs> Zora, I have no idea what that means or how it works. I don't even know if my account can do that. <laughs> Gmail, you say? <laughs> I was afraid you'd say that. I guess you'll have to ask the system admin to help you out with that. I'm sorry, but Horace is really more of the computer guy. I'm just sort of like, I just pay the bills. How do you think they'll go? Hey, I... Wait. <laughs> How do you think they'll go? Hey, IT, could you help me invite some hackers into our network? <laughs> Isn't there someone on your team that you can ask? Someone who will believe you if you tell them they're doing the right thing? Oh, no. No, not really. You you know, you're talking about Saito, but he's my good boy. He's my good time chap. He's, I he's love the, Saito. He's the token religious person on the team. We can't make yeah, him I can't. sin. <laughs> he sounds really nice. I haven't really interacted with him much out of work, but he seems cool. I can't. What if he says no? What if he reports me to God or whatever? That's for you to figure out. You're good with words. Force him if you have to. Oh Once... shit, we have four viewers. Oh, nice. Welcome, everyone. Once we're in, we won't have much time until we're kicked out of the system automatically. We'll have mere seconds to navigate to the right folder. In order Again, to make you time, seem kind of bad at hacking. We need to have an idea of where to find the data. For which, in turn, we'll have to figure out which that data is about. And that's your job to find out. How is that sheet going I sent you? 
I'm making progress, but I'm not sure if I have all the information I need. I feel like... Like you guys are bad at your job. <laughs> then hurry up. You'll have to submit it by 1900 so we can start back. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay. I guess. We're already, like, pretty deep in this. Yeah. Okay. I'll call you once you've sent me the shit. <laughs> Make sure you're on a CDI computer with your friend in Lisbon. Put the data on a stick and hand it to us at 11 tonight. I'm sending you the coordinates for our meeting spot. Boop, 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 boop. A bit further out, make sure to be on your way in time. If we get the data tonight, I promise we'll have Laura back tomorrow. It'll be the last thing we ask of you. How am I supposed to believe you'll let Laura go? You can't Give me one of her fingers. You'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> if I drag Saito into it and he tells anyone I'll lose my job, I'll probably go to prison. Throw me a bone. Specifically a finger bone. <laughs> I need to know that she'll be fine if I do this. Tell me it makes a difference to you. It can't mean nothing to you to take a young life. That's a lot of twos in one sentence. It isn't up to me. You keep saying that, but isn't it... Really? Do you have zero control over what happens? If you can do something, please just tell me it isn't all the same to you if she lives or dies. Like, come on, dude. Do what I say and she'll live, okay? Zora, I feel like you're not listening to me. But what if it goes south? What if Saito won't help me? What if it goes north? If we don't have the right folder? I'm not good at directions, Zora. I take trains everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You keep <laughs> dodging the question. Tell me a human life has some value to you. It Zora's just like, yeah, about nine ninety nine a minute. <laughs> It would end at some point anyway. Ah. Oh, what? <laughs> what a wild thing to say. She's a kid. It would end like 80 years from now. Yeah. Uh, give me a break. Everything is so easy if it means uh, anything. If nothing means anything. Like you care about human life. What do you think uh, would happen if you left more to us? Yeah, I mean, we, do we, we care about it. We haven't killed a single person. <laughs> We've killed several drones and no people. Also, the whole reason I went to Moore and instead of like just letting you guys do that was because I was worried you were gonna kill him. Yeah. Was I supposed to put my daughter in harm's way instead? Whatever. Your badge and your gun betray you. You're a murderer like me. Ah, 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 oh my god, Zara. We have not killed anybody. <laughs> now is the time to throw it in her face. <laughs> and I don't want the world to see me. You're wrong about that. There's only one person whose death I'm directly responsible for. M yours! Take that gun. <laughs> Someone call an ambulance, but not for me! And you know what? It fucks me up. It's been years, and it still fucks me up. Is that so? I was chasing down a perp in a car, lost control, and crashed into a building. Oh. Weird thing was, he was in the car. <laughs> just sort of ran into it. Ah, then so... He, then now, he had a heart attack. So now we get the backstory for why he doesn't drive. Ah. The woman inside was dead on the spot. So quickly that she couldn't feel any pain or fear. That's what they said to me. But I saw her. Her face was frozen in a scream. <laughs> it was, it was kind of clear they were lying. And they didn't put you away for it? No. No, they didn't. I mean, it wasn't my fault. Look, most people are garbage. There's a good chance the world is better off without What? <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. Um, what about you? I guess. How would you classify yourself, then? Oh, definitely garbage. Wouldn't you agree the world would be better off without most people in it? No ways! Human life has inherent value! I don't agree. Human life has inherent value, and a bad person can always change. And also, if life didn't have value, we wouldn't pay people to kill other people. <laughs> Oof. I've said what I came to say. You know what needs to be done. Zora dash dash. And she... And she jumped off my balcony again. Hey, hey Horace. How's it going? Rough night? <laughs> Me too. Ooh, we gotta pet him. Yeah, we have to pet Horace. Gotta pet him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes! Best yes. fucking portrait yeah. in the game! Yeah! Ah, oh, look at that guy. He looks so comfortable. He looks so happy. I love it. 
Yeah. That's Screw awesome. Laura. <laughs> we got custody of one. Yeah. That's all that matters. He's our son now. <laughs> I'm getting Laura back so she'll stop calling me and taking away time from Horace. <laughs> also, you know, maybe uh, she's a writer and, you know, uh, that's... Yeah, whatever. Mm. Who cares? Like, the world needs more of those. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, should I read the, the chat soon, or do you think there's going to be another voiceover? Uh... Let's give it a minute. Uh, if there's another thing, then we'll do that quick, and then just like go and sit in the chair next to Horace. After I woke up. Sorry. After I woke up, I'll stare at the ceiling for a while. Zora's words rang in my head. God, they were stupid. <laughs> Seven o'clock tonight. I had to do what they asked of me, but I wasn't sure where the data they wanted was stored. I was running out of time. I sat up and made a decision. I think that all the puzzle pieces was there. And the, uh, the time it's going to take to submit it will, will, is running out. I'm oh, sorry, the video froze and I couldn't see the rest of the words. Maybe I could force them to pay Zora's boss so he'd let Laura go. That's an interesting point. We can't yeah, that was weird. Uh, the, the stream on Discord froze for a second. <laughs> And it's just long enough right. for, for the voiceover to pass. While we're having a cigarette, you can check the chat. Yeah. Okay, so, um... Uh, Lucas... Uh, Frog says foxes can't bark because of how their faces are shaped. Oh. That's interesting. Uh, Lucas doesn't drink alcohol, apparently, so... But he will be interested in your recipe for a chocolate martini, which is non-alcoholic. Yeah! You can't make He doesn't say that, it. I'm just saying it. <laughs> Uh, foxes split from dogs 7 million years ago, but split from cats 40 million, so they're closer to dogs by only a little bit, huh. says Frogs. Didn't know that. Uh, then Lucas said, and I have to, can't believe I have to read this, cat girls are the last remaining link between primates and felines. <laughs> okay. That yep. was that was certainly <laughs> that was certainly a comment. <laughs> uh, that he goes on to say, lizards remind me of the half British lizard guy that ghosted me, and uh, continues with, why is autumn so sad at times? And Lucas, are you okay? Do we need to talk? Yeah, it's, what? you cool, Lucas. <laughs> uh, comrade Sad asks, you got ghosted by a lizard man? Frogs explains that it's cold and almost winter, but not fun. Uh, not always fun times. Also, it, it burns my insides that you guys get to have a cold autumn right now while we're stuck in the hellscape of summer. We had I a hate cold this winter, season. Though. Yeah, but I love winter, and summer is the worst. True, true, true. Uh, All right. He went to a... Yeah, so goes on, goes on, goes on. Comrade Sad's here, by the way. Hello, Comrade Sad. So let's continue with the game, I guess. All right, so the last thing that we need to figure out... Is oh, we got an email. Oh, it's probably from Saito. Yeah. Yeah. So About we, have, the we info have to we do got. this. We have to solve this situation, and we also should read the email. So let's see. Hello, should Jody. I read it? No, no, it's fine. Uh, Thailandium. So the person Albert who's talking is it Drovian? And he, uh, and he's also talking to a fellow Drovian about Thailandium resources. Transport. It's, oh, it's Cox. This is the message, uh, this is a message from Cox's, like, messages that Saito has forwarded to us. So this is someone named Albert emailing Cox about this. Let's see. Okay, so I definitely think this is about mining. If we're, looking oh, definitely. At the, look, if we're looking at the list of companies, there are See one, that? two, three companies that specialize in Thailandium. But of it's those, probably Dyson Enterprises, because they're the, from Drovia. Of those three, Dyson Enterprises is the one from Drovia. Oh, did I steal your thunder? <laughs> yeah. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh. Uh. Thailandium. Thailandium. Mining. Yeah, mining. Yeah, production. mining sector. They're based on based Drovia. Drovia and okay, uh, who? Where can we it's... find? 
Well, the name of the company is is Dyson, wasn't it? Yeah, but we need the the CEO. Oh. Uh, wait a minute. Clues. Uh, doop 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 red herring. Bathtub window broken glass. Ox and a doll. Wait. Explosives. Wait, I remember. It will be glossary. News. Oh. Uh. Do, 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 Abbott do, do, Dyson. Do. Abbott Dyson. Okay. Go back to the sheet. Uh. Da, 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 da. Name of the company Dyson. behind the liber. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't need the oh. CEO at all because it's the name of the company. Uh, you know why? It was like the first name was Norton. I was like, oh yeah, you know, do we need a name? But no, it's. Dyson. It's Dyson. I, I think it has to be Dyson. Unless we find out that the person behind, like, Millux is also a Drovian or whatever. Oh, God. I thought... But uh, I, 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 that, I thought it would probably be dead if that were the case. Yeah, I think I think it doesn't matter. Let's Dyson is the one that makes the most sense. We're gonna roll Submit. the dice on Dyson. Oh, God. And that's... <laughs> Person, that, they're that's the on, worst. They're based on Drovia, they do mining, Tyranium. Yes. Submit! Abbott Dawson. All the signs pointed towards him and his company. I didn't feel like I had the full picture just yet, but some aspects finally made sense to me. None of the people we had encountered seemed to support what the Liberators claimed to stand for. That wasn't a Garian terror group at all. It was Drovians. Savians. Hired guns and business people, all working for one man's false flag operation. What was he trying to accomplish? Stir up enough trouble to force the solar system into a war? I had talked to Dyson the morning after Benny's death. He was a prick. <laughs> he was still in Gara, hiding in plain sight. And I slurred his number. I considered my options. We need to arrest him, but maybe we could have a chat first. Just the two, just the two of us. Once the CDI had him, we wouldn't be able to talk freely. I took out my cell and typed his face in my contacts. Tapped his face in my contacts, not typed. Right. <coughs> let's, Bless me. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah, let's find Dyson. Uh, Hello. Morning, Mr. Dyson. This is Neil Conrad with the CDI Phillips. I believe Dyson was a type of vacuum cleaner. <laughs> uh, was it? Ah, Agent Conrad. How can I help you? I'll tell you in a moment. Just googling your name so that I can make funny jokes. Dyson Limited is a Singaporean multinational technology company founded by <laughs> James Dyson. That's not fun. It is vacuum cleaners. Ah, idiot. <laughs> There's something I'd like to talk to you about in person. Go meet on the train that stops at Louisville and... <laughs> what? <laughs> Just notice that we live in a place called Louisville, which is so very close to Whoville. <laughs> We're going to arrest the Grinch in the next mission? In half an hour? I have an important call in ten minutes. Could we uh, make an appointment for tonight? This can't wait. I know you've got attachments that uh, you can't uh, nuzzle your way around. If you insist, I'll tell my secretary to delay my call. Thanks, see you in a bit. You suck. Bye, vacuum cleaners. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Interact with Horace. We, we can't. No. Bye, Horace. Love you. If there's a sequel to this game, I should be able to interact with my lizard at any point. Our lizard would come Horace with us. must become a phone contact <laughs> that I can call and just get encouraging noises from. Yeah, you know, it's good for morale. This is a weirdly surreal elevator trip because we don't have a. Uh, oh. Liam wants to meet for breakfast. Wait, well, I suppose is, we have time. Who is this? Liam, the chief. Oh. Liam Campbell. Yeah, I suppose we have time I for did, breakfast. I didn't Wait. know his surname was Campbell. Wait. I thought his name was Liam. 
a quick, I mean, a quick like uh, a scone, maybe you know, maybe like some uh, some muffins. That'd be nice. Yeah, let's let's go and have a a, a vegan omelet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's what? do that. What do they make vegan omelets out of? Uh, well, if you were just making an egg white, maybe there there are like various types of replaceable egg pseudo proteins that you could. Yeah, yeah, but is like the egg white then is the yolk the non-vegan part of the egg? No, the whole I thing is. The whole egg was not vegan. Yeah, the whole egg. Well, if you if you're looking for a substitute for egg whites, you could uh, use uh, aquafaba, but I don't think that'll turn into like a an omelet type deal. Why are we standing here? Oh, hi. oh hey, what's up, Chief? Morning, Chief. Morning, Conrad. It's Campbell now. Right, like the chunky soup. <laughs> you want to talk to me? I need you to give, to give me a word that you won't tell anyone about our meeting today. Uh, cross my lips and hope to die, my chunky soup friend. You have my word. You're an excellent investigator, Conrad. You Not find true. out that the sniper shot Banny from the Sakura Hotel. You have a sharp mind. No, I have two idiots controlling my every move. <laughs> you identified the bartender at the hotel as the one who helped Diaz escape. Okay. You find the sniper's boat in the harbor. I didn't Dennis really, though. Helped us track we down failed that one. Escape. <laughs> you figured out what Fanny's murderer looked like. Thanks to that, we were able to catch him and his associate on doors. But thanks for recapping, like, our entire investigation, Chief. <laughs> the entire game, yeah. Also, this job is really easy. I just talked to, like, five people and remembered what they said. Y'all should buy notepads. And you determined who started the Liberator's video at AdSpot. That's why we could go up to Moore and Cox so quickly. You know what that make you know what makes you so good at your job? You question just about anything. In all my years <laughs> at the CDI, I've never met a bigger skeptic than you. Yeah, the thing that you guys are doing wrong is you're not asking people questions. <laughs> but that could also make your life harder if you want to climb the ranks of the CDI. However, if that doesn't concern you, you might have to <clears throat> you might want to have to closer look at the Sector 2 incident. I don't know Your exactly eyebrows are raised weirdly in that frame. It's what they're trying to hide. That the data they're so desperately protecting has something to do with it. Who? Who is hiding something? Tell me! The AG for sure. Maybe just her. I think something happened back when she was director of the CDI. <laughs> when, was, when was the Sector 2 incident? Uh, did we have a news article on that? We can check it. Yeah, because the director might have been the... The AG might have been the director of the CDI when that happened, oh, and maybe they she covered, covered it, up. it up. Yeah, I was just about to say. They might have covered that shit up. She's been acting strange. The sudden decision to erect Cox when she heard his name was the last straw. What was in, Conrad? It was a security alert in the database. Some unauthorized connection from your cell. Whatever it is you were trying to do, I took the liberty of dismissing the alert. There's no more record. Ah, thanks, Chief. <laughs> Hell yeah. We made the right decision by not exposing his, um... Secret. Shall we say, nightly activities. Yeah, yeah, we did. One cover-up for another. <laughs> I have to go now. This will be my first <laughs> evening without work I've had in a while. I guess it's time to go to the rub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I guess I'll just watch some uh, Great British British Bake Off oh season two thousand fifty nine. Can, can, can you imagine like Mary Berry in like a cyborg next suit? <laughs> yeah, it's just actual flesh Mary Berry who we all know does not age, but poor Hollywood is a cyborg now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for meeting me and for recapping my entire like previous two days. I guess. <laughs> This has been a short experience. This has been a wild half a week. It's only Wednesday. Yeah, it's it's only Wednesday, my dudes. Wait. Hey, do you think this game will end on a Thursday? Maybe. Also, that would I be did, amazing. I just Because then some, we could be like... Yeah. I, sorry, I just saw a weird... Apparently the brain plus guy... Oh, I'll, I'll tell you after. My heart was pounding. Uh, would Dawson really come or did I spook him? Did he suspect I was on him? Onto him? 
It would be a while until I found out, so I sat down, took a deep breath, and at least I had a little time to think about what to say if he showed up. And I started smoking in a busy communal train station. You were saying? I was about to say, the brain plus ad. They put the brain gain, yeah. The brain gain. The thing they do to augment your brain is they put titanium in you. Oh. The stuff they mine out of the ground. Yeah. That's weird. I was just like, what? Uh, oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Is the the plot twist at the end that they're using like those mind control chips that Elon Musk was working on? Yeah, the one he killed all the monkeys for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dyson, we're meeting on a moving train. I said the line. <laughs> Good evening, Agent Conrad. This is an interesting setting for a chat. Let's get... Well, it's more cinematic that way. It's kind of like the end of uh, Cowboy Bebop. I Sorry, haven't seen no this spoilers. though, so I don't know what happens next. <laughs> Let's get straight to the point. I have a sufficient I have sufficient proof that you were part of, or even all of the liberators. That's a big accusation to throw around. What proof would that be? Mostly just like detail noticing. Yeah. You, know you hired mercenaries. <laughs> it's like basic addition, basically. <laughs> I know you hired mercenaries to kill Banny and to steal some data from the chief cell. You also instructed Cox to broadcast the Liberator's message and to bomb Corian Church. If there's anything else going on that endangers people's lives, you need to tell me right now. If you're so sure of all of that, why didn't the CDI just arrest me? I want to know why you did it. If you're a Savian from Drovia. What's more, your company suffers financially from operating inside an unfree colony. You have all the reason to support Drovian independence, and yet... Ah, Agent Murad. I do support Drovian independence. But not for economic reasons. Dun dun dun! This is ideological. <laughs> I expect you to die. Don't you think the status quo is unacceptable in a modern society? Yeah, you're at the top a of CEO. it. CEO, I at the top of the society. <laughs> Don't I, you think it sucks that the one percent has power? Yeah, no, you mean the ninety-nine? Don't you think it's terrible that I can't buy a third yacht? I already own two planets, and I can't have a third one. Ugh. What? I'm literally wearing a cravat. I think. Gara forces us to hand over all the fruit of our labor like we live in... Hang on! <laughs> Whoa. Like we live in feudal time. You're a CEO! <laughs> I you're say the, you're same... the whitest human being I've ever met, Mr. Dyson. I can say the same thing about your employees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only to resell it at Incre... Yeah! <laughs> Incre Isn't that wild? It's almost like what you're doing. <laughs> Incredible profit. You you're... picked the wrong podcast to be an enemy on. Yeah. Your planet exploits and enslaves my people for its own. But I, but what? <laughs> You're literally making an argument against billionaires <sighs> while being a billionaire for its own financial gain. I mean, my dude, this is like if a Bond villain said to James Bond, "Isn't it? Wouldn't it be shitty if someone fired off this death laser?" <laughs> If that's how you see it, why did you create an anti savient anti-emancipation terrorist group? All Trovia needs to finally explode is a spark. I have provided just that. Did you read the news today? Trovian resistance against its oppressors has never been stronger. Do I look like a man with a plan? <laughs> I'm just uh, a, a dog chasing cars. So you admit it. You did it to lend momentum and legitimacy to a savient revolution, which you will presumably profit off of, destroying your entire ecological, uh, ideological foundation for doing this. To push public opinion on Drovia to a point where a, succe a succession? Secession, sorry. Yeah, war seems ine inevitable. What's the difference between secession and succession? Well, to secede from something is to break away from it. A successor oh. is the thing that comes after the other thing. I didn't know the singular of the word secession for a bit. And then you reminded me. Thank you. You're welcome. But they're already negotiating. 
Why don't you just support Banny on the summit instead of, you know, killing him? Joseph was in no position to change things. The whole his summit son, was a big dog and pony show. I'm but using... his son, it seems like, is a pretty good carpenter. History teaches us that you can't obtain independence, the peaceful. The blood of martyrs is the sea, is the sea, <laughs> water is the tree of liberty. <laughs> if you want uh, it, you take it. Wait. <laughs> wait, no, I'm trying to think of a historical, like, secession that did happen peacefully, and I guess the Vatican? Well, that's highly debatable. But, like, there wasn't a war to decide if the Vatican could be a sovereign state or anything. There was definitely a history of conflict between the Italian city-states and... Yeah, but it was, like... But the... the, the I, I don't think it was, like, a physical conflict kind of thing. Well, during I think the, it was more like a political conflict. During the Rus or, 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 Orgamento, uh, which is the Italian reunification, the formation of the Kingdom of Italy, uh, there were certainly a lot of instances of conflict. I think, like, it's highly debatable uh, if the Vatican would have emerged intact. Mm. So, maybe. Do you... Did that happen before... I assume that happened after the... Uh, they split into Eastern Rome and Western Rome? Yeah, this is... We're, we're talking about, like, the 19th Years century. later. Oh, okay. Not like okay, the okay. Catholic versus Orthodox. Yeah, because I always tell people about, like, uh, you know, you had Eastern Rome and Western Rome, and Western Rome was, like, the Byzantine... Oh, it was right. the Holy em No, it was the Holy Emperor uh, Empire of Rome, right? No. Well, With the Pope was the leader? Well, if you're referring to the Holy Roman Empire, that's a different thing. Uh, okay. No, the Eastern, Eastern Church was the, the, the Byzantines. We should definitely do like a, a history, a history stream? yeah, a visual history lesson. We can use like Crusader Kings or something, and like set an instance and yeah. teach people about history. I I actually wanted to, to do a series to talk to people about like colonialism and uh, imperialism, and I, I thought the perfect game to talk about that would be like Anno. What so I can like do colonialism in the game and show them like he, here's what Ooh. the relationship of colonialism is like. It's, yeah, pre-colonialism, pre-colonization South Africa is super interesting oh, because it's, it's, it's a wild. bunch of nomadic tribes, like interacting and trading upriver, and like the the betrayal that happened in um, uh, I think it was the Zulu Kingdom, where like basically they gathered all of the tribes there, and then the one just set fire to the other two, essentially. Yeah. It was wild and the, crazy and so a, interesting. <laughs> there's like a lot of Machiavell <laughs> Machiavellian politics, you know. Uh, Chaka, King of the Zulus, was very much like the Napoleon of Southern Africa in terms of like his political ambitions and the scope of his his like reach. Uh, yeah, and and he built up a fairly impressive kingdom. Yeah, yeah, in 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 the way that like many famous tyrants from history. <laughs> You know, build up a... uh, before we head back to the game for a second, mm -hmm. um, what was that kingdom that they found all of the golden artifacts for? Mapungupe? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to learn more about that. Yeah, that's uh, Zimbabwe. Mm. You know they found um... a, you know they found Chinese porcelain, like from like ancient Chinese porcelain, and because of like trade routes, Mapungupe, the king, great kingdom of Zimbabwe, was actually like trading with China. Holy shit! And they, they were like, literally eating wood on on porcelain that was imported from China, all the way from China, like back in the uh, pre pre uh, you know modern times, like in the. Hmm. Man, like imagine what Christ. this country. What imagine how the different this country would be if colonization didn't happen. Well, just, you know, imagine how different the world would be if colonization did. But uh, yeah, can't really unwind that clock, unfortunately. Yeah, really... I mean it's. It's pure speculation. Yeah, yeah. We, the only thing that we can really do is just do better in current times. Yeah. You know? Anyway, yeah. sorry for that impromptu history lesson. <laughs> and the war is worth it for you, especially considering that Drovia is unlikely to win it. If a war is what it takes, we have to try. Besides, you, Joran, will take our side, if any. <laughs> you know, I'm not really buying your man of the people spiel. Yeah, it's kind of hard to argue that you're a man of the people when you're, like, a CEO billionaire guy. Yeah. 
the opposing forces in my head, the two people who control my every action, just had a whole conversation and many history lecture about it. Imagine if, like, Elon Musk was like, yes, we need to do a revolution on Mars. And they're like, Dude, you're not a man of the people. <laughs> you own this planet. Yeah. Just do it. It's like when, um, when, uh... Joe Biden is like, oh, this is awful. We have to do something about this in our country. And it's like, my guy, you're the, you're the leader of this country. <laughs> do something. <laughs> uh, speaking of Elon Musk, Lucas said Elon Musk is a socialist and then put a little clown face emoji. Yep, that's true. And I'm going to, we're going to read, there's a ton of chat messages. We're going to read them as much as we can later on, yeah, but yeah, we're yeah. just going to finish this. Yeah, yeah, we're going to finish the set piece and that'll be the end for today. And then we'll read the chat. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> think of me any way you want. It doesn't matter. The way okay. I see it, I'm using my influence and money to fight for the right cause. Don't you think thousands of innocent lives are prohibitively a high price to pay? It's interesting that you bring that up, being a CDI. I haven't killed anybody. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... a CDI agent yourself. Dude, why is everyone all about the CDI like this? What are you talking about? He just rips off his face and it's Zora again? <laughs> the data I've been wanting to get my hands on. You have a look at it. No. It contains classified information about the Sector 2 incident. Which also cost thousands. Oh, so this is about the Sector Two in, in uh, situation. Thousands of innocent lives. Hey. But just as importantly, Savians lost the right to a self-determined, uh, self-governed colony on Drovia. Gara cited a charter that it had made up itself and launched an independent investigation, which identified major construction and security flaws as the cause of the disaster. I'm familiar with the incident. You might say I lived through it. <laughs> what are you getting at? Those backward Savians don't believe in real science. Whoa. So they don't know how to build a safe colony. Sounds whoa, convincing, whoa. doesn't it? What if I told you the colony was sabotaged by Gara? He d he was such a good character in Naruto Season 1. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. He's the Kaze Kage. He can't <laughs> take a break to sabotage a planet. Uh, and why wouldn't he just use his Jinchuriki powers? The operation was launched out of fear and greed. A Savian colony on the biggest Tylenium source in the system, free to trade with New Duran. Losing the Tylenium race could have meant losing supremacy over the solar system. They couldn't allow that to happen. Who? Who are you talking about? Tell me! A number of politicians and other elites. You know, my friends. <laughs> and of course, the, <laughs> the CDI. The people I interact with on a daily basis. <laughs> and of course, the CDI as their executive force. Your attorney general, Amelia Thorne. She was the director of the CDI at the time. So I fucking predicted judge... this like five minutes ago. So before you judge me, look at the people you work for. I know many people who died or lost someone in the incident. So many more who lost their livelihoods. Okay, but dude, like for real though, the things that you're doing, you are directly responsible for. The things that I'm doing... I am not directly responsible for the people I work for are directly responsible for them. Yeah. No, this is too big, apparently. So many people would have had to stay quiet for it to stay secret for so long. I guess. Well, it'll come out. And not that many people know. Who knows at the CDI? Does Gary know? I need to know if Gary knows. Everyone involved is retired by now, except Miss Thorne. But some people must know. There are records of it. They will see the light of day soon enough. I know that the mercenaries you hired are working on getting them back. They abducted my daughter and blackmailed me into helping them. I'm sorry to hear that. They did not act on my behalf when they took your daughter. Listen, Mr. Dyson. Uh. Ooh. I have to arrest you. I can't let this man start a war. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> put your, please put your hands out so I can cuff you. It doesn't make much of a difference to me if you arrest me. I might have to do some time, but I have the best lawyers in this. What do yeah, I, if I kill them? What do I? What I care about is the data becoming. If the data becomes public, get it, and the mercenaries will be paid. Once they send it over, it'll get leaked. Even if I am in prison, I have people making sure of that. It doesn't matter what you care about. I want my daughter back. Pay them now. I would consider it, but I missed the window. The transaction expired. Uh, I see. 
You're under arrest. My dude! <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You're getting off the train with me at the next stop. I can't let you get away with this. But until we arrive, I have some final questions. Tell me. Uh, what do you know about Laura's abductors, first of all? What do you know about the people who took my daughter? Not much, to be honest. You probably figured out most of it already. They're You'd a be surprised. Group of mercenaries, and they run a and they run big operations in the whole solar system. If you want a higher profile job done, you go to them. Where is their HQ, and where are they keeping my daughter? And do they have any weaknesses? I don't know. They're very secretive. They only meet you in public places, but they come to you. I see. Tell me, what is Cox's role in all this? Why does Cox help you? I imagine, imagine bombing oh. a church. Don't finish my sentences, Mr. Dyson. <laughs> I imagine bombing a church isn't something you can just pay any security company to do. Albert's parents were old friends of mine. Their company uh, was in charge of security at Sector 2. I know. They went bankrupt after the explosions. Some people put the blame for the incident on them. They're I also know death that. threats to this day. I supported them in their son plan. He's the guy who's been doing the government gr the DE grants. Dyson Enterprises. Oh my, god. oh my god. I can't believe we'd never noticed that before. <laughs> it all We're makes idiots. sense. It all uh, I I feel like we did we like We figured out like ninety percent of this case off of like <laughs> just wild guesses we've made. Yeah, it, the guys, we missed an acronym. This is how you be a detective. You just wander <laughs> around aimlessly and make wild guesses. <laughs> and then it just sort of works out. And then you hear one piece of information and you're like, oh, damn. Yeah, that, was, that would have helped, knowing that. As you can imagine, Cox has every reason to want revenge for what Gar had to his family. Why work with the mercenaries when you already had Cox's guys to do your dirty work? Parts of the plan were out of his weave house. I see. I guess. That's all for now. We'll get out of the next stop. I'll inform my colleagues that we are coming. Sideo, we're coming. Hang up. Sideo's just like, what? Oh, he almost What do you mean? Uh, it'll be well, kind our of name's weird Philip Conrad, huh? Uh, no, Neo Conrad. It'd be, uh. kind of explain it'd be kind of hard explaining how we knew to catch this guy. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I have a really important CEO here with me. <clears throat> uh, Should I do Holloway? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Hey, Conrad. Are you sure about this? I am. All right, then. Good job. I got this. Gary won... Oh, I got this. Sorry I inflected on that weirdly. Gary wants to talk to you. He's inside. You're waiting here with us, Mr. Dyson. Uh, yeah, this is a good spot to end it, I think. Yeah, looks like we got some dirt on you. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking you to the cleaners. Alright, what do the, uh, <laughs> what does the chat say? Oh, yeah, let's read the chat for a bit. Yeah. And then we'll probably end the video. Yeah, stream. Uh, <laughs> It was short days, a lot of talk about uh, autumn. I never drive because I'm bad at it, says Lucas. I don't drive because I have no navigational skills, called comrades add. I'm not allowed to drive because of Tourette, said Frogs of the Frog World. We have a very driving against chat. Cars do suck. I will, I will admit that. They suck mega. Having to depend on them is really, really a sign of a failed society. Yeah, I don't I don't drive because it gives me genuine heart attacks every time I get behind the wheel of a car. I I can drive, I just I don't have a car. Um and I also, I also find don't it own one of those. Uh, mm. it, it it is it is quite a stressful thing to do, but you know, I drive slowly uh and therefore I usually get to where I need to go. Yeah, I have a very funny story about driving that I won't tell cuz it's kind of long. Mm -hmm. Uh Comrade Sad says summer is better than winter and proves themselves to be wrong on the internet. And I will die and I will fight and die on this hill, Comrade Sad. Winter is the superior season in every way, just about. And also, bees are not the problem in summer. In fact, they're one of the best parts of summer. Unfortunately, the rest of summer lets them down. Uh, He's then, nice. Comrade Sad's cat attacked his keyboard. Uh, he's going to jail. There's a lot of emojis. 
That would be really... Oh, and everyone's saying that they'd love to hear a history stream. History stream? Yeah, maybe we should do one of those. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to do a history stream. We were tooling around with a, an Egyptology video at one point. You know, that was like months ago, and then we got distracted. I do know a couple of historians. Uh, you, you know one. I literally have a minor in history. Well, I know some practicing historians. <laughs> Oh, okay. To people who are like professional academic historians. So I'm a professional academic historian, kind of. Uh, in the loosest of senses, which is the only senses that matter. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I could, I could get like an actual Egypt. I, I feel like I could get an e actual Egyptologist on the top. Okay, fine. I guess my uh basic and qu quite frankly fragmented knowledge <laughs> of Egypt is just not good enough for you. <laughs> That's cool. Whatever. I know a couple of myths about Ra, but whatever. I'm not I'm not cool enough for Emilio. Uh Lucas says that Mr. Dyson is about to make our room smell pretty, which is wild. Uh <laughs> to a, a wild thing to say and think and type and share on the internet. And then he asks uh or they ask when our do daughter was abducted a few episodes ago. Uh, the people that Zora work for, like the mercenaries that killed the Prime Minister at the beginning of the game, they kidnapped our daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Frogs of the Frog War says it gets to minus 20 in the winter there, so uh, they prefer fall. And Lucas says that uh, winter is just wet where they stay. And that's the, th that's the thing about South Africa, is like, say what you want about it, I kind of love the weather system here. Yeah, it's very good. Because it, it's very, like schizophrenic a lot of the time <laughs> it'll be like cold in the morning and then hot in the afternoon and then cold again but our like our wet season is summer so we get lots of rain in the summer so it's not generally too bad and winter is our dry season which is great yeah yeah so it's, it's not like you're dealing with a cold and a wet whereas uh you know in um in uh, other parts of the world the winter season is also the wet one so it's like you're that's that's really miserable yeah but i do miss snow I have to say. Oh, I <laughs> so I went to a, an Anglican school, right? Mm -hmm. And our uh, our uh, uh, chaplain said to the matrix during one of their study classes that if it snows tomorrow, they'll cancel exams. <laughs> and the very next day, I was 16 at the time, we had the first recorded snow in, South, in like Pretoria <laughs> in like 30 years. <laughs> and it just like was inside watching TV and I just saw white stuff outside and I was like, what? And I went outside and it was snowing. <laughs> it was the craziest shit. <laughs> uh, life is great sometimes. Anyway. Know. Uh, except for our daughter, who got kidnapped, which we'll hopefully be able to save next week. Yeah. That brings us to the end of our stream, guys. Uh, yeah. We hope if you, you wouldn't it. mind switching to the stream as ending screen, Emilio. Yes, of course. Well, uh, while Emilio does that, thank you so much for watching and for being a part of this. It's It's always fun chatting to each other but it's so much more fun doing it in front of y'all mm, absolutely and seeing your your responses in real time and everything and we're definitely going to do the history stream and maybe the cooking stream <laughs> if we can get around to it like if we can get a camera and stuff guys we also we're not going to spoil it but there are some big things that have now been much more confirmed <laughs> Yeah, we've got big projects coming. Really great time for both of us. I passed yeah. my email skill checks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. What a wild sentence to say. Um, okay, we're we're going to be shutting up now in a second, but please go and check out our socials. Mm -hmm. uh, click on that little bell notif like icon next to the subscribe button if you want notifications from us. And join in for the stream on Sunday, where I guess I'll be playing Dark Souls again. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your week. Yeah, bye everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.